want them to ban these people, ban them, get away, take them away. That is not the answer. It's never been the answer. If you want to ban someone for doxing people, if you want to ban someone for threatening people or, or harassing people, these are different things. You're talking about people that are doing something that could be considered a crime. But you're, you're, you, you've got people talking about banning people for having different opinions on things. You're talking about people who support certain religions like Islam, because they don't want to appear Islamophobic, but they don't want to support Christian religions and Christian ideals with the same enthusiasm, because they feel like they can shit on those religions, and, and it's, you know, we have an open season for them in this country. I think there's a real problem with people even not wanting to have discussions. You, you have to be able to talk to people. No, I agree. I mean, you universities have to talk are to people reasonably. Universities. As soon as one side controls the narrative, as soon as you have the people on the left that are silencing the people on the right, and you know, this is one of the things that came up during the podcast with uh, Vidya and Jack Dorsey, where Tim Pool was saying that by saying dead naming someone or misgendering someone, you can get banned for life. Like you're, you're saying to a person, perhaps maybe that someone has very distinct religious beliefs where they don't believe that someone is capable of transitioning from a man to a woman. And there's no judge, there's no jury, you never get arrested, you're just no, banned. You're just banned. And it's based on their ideology. It's not based on rules that uh, the, our society agrees upon, because the rules of free speech, they're, they're pretty clear. Like in the, the, the rules of free speech, you could call someone whatever you want. Like that's free speech. As long as you're not threatening them, as long as not well, yeah, it's like the idea that you want group group think, you want everyone to think alike. That's crazy. This is such a short sighted approach to discourse. It's such a short sighted approach to, to to communication. The answer to bad ideas is not silencing those ideas. It's good ideas, ideas that resonate with people, ideas that are well formed and well argued, so that other people can listen to them and form their own opinions. Half of the reason why people like discussions like this is because a lot of people are on the fence about ideas. A lot of people are not sure if their ideas are correct, if maybe their assumptions are, are wrong. You have to listen to people discuss things and see what resonates with Well, them. that's the other